Okay, students. Good morning, all of you. Our next topic discussion on cytoskeleton. 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 See here, cytoskeleton. It is an elaborate network of filamentous proteinaceous system. See here, in the eukaryotic cell. In the eukaryotic cell, and elaborate network of elaborate network of filamentous proteinaceous structures are scattered in the cytoplasm of the eukaryotic cells. These are all collectively called cytoskeleton. These are all collectively called in eukaryotic cells an elaborate network of filamentous Proteinaceous structures are scattered in the cytoplasm. Those are all collectively called cytoskeleton. These are all collectively called cytoskeleton. So the function of the cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton. So the cytoskeleton mainly performs the three functions. They are first one is the mechanical support. Mechanical support. Mechanical support means what? At any conditions, the eukaryotic cell withstand, resistant, and cannot bend and cannot change its shape. That is called mechanical support. Mechanical support. Due to the presence of cytoskeleton, the eukaryotic cell is a strong. That is called mechanical support. Second one is Motility. Motility. Motility means movement of the cell. The cell is more. Next, third one is maintain proper shape of the cell. Maintain proper shape of the cell. Okay, these three functions are carried by the cytoskeleton in eukaryotic. This is the explanation about cyto. Next topic, we will discuss about Okay, next. Cilia and Plasilla. Cilia is the plural. Plasilla is the plural. Singular, cilium, flagella. Singular word is a cilium and a flagella. Plural word is a cilia and a flagella. See, here, <coughs> cilia and flagella, both are locomotive organs, which are present in prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. But their structure is different, function is the same. Okay, so cilia, and flagella, both are locomotory organs. In these two, flagella is common in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. The structure is different, but function is the same. Okay, that's it. So generally, the cilia, the cilia is small hair-like structure. The cilia is a small hair-like structure, which works like bones. Which works like bones. Wars means what? Pole. When we are boating in pond or canal, how the boatman will make a movement of the pole like that? It will work. Okay. Oh, the cilia is a small hair-like structure which works like pole. Oh, this wall helps in the movement of the cell. Cell movement. Either in either of the movement on either sides. Cilia helps in movement of the cell on either sides. That means what left side, right side, or surrounding fluid. Surrounding fluid. Okay, that is the explanation about the cilia. Cilia is a small hair-like structure which works as pores. Pores means pores. 
that pole helps in the movement of the cell on both the directions are surrounding plane. Next, flagella. Next, So, flagella. Flagella is a long hair-like structure. Even it is also helps in the motility of the cell. <coughs> motility of the cell. So, here, flagella. This is common in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. But its structure is varies in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. But the function is same. That is motility of the cell. Plazilla function is motility. Motility nothing but movement of the cell. That is the explanation of the introductory part of the video. When we will see? When we will see? Cilium and flagellum through electron microscope. It shows all the internal parts. Those are all the internal parts are various types. So the first one is cell membrane. It is also called plasma membrane. Plasma membrane. First one is plasma membrane. Second one is axone. Axonin. It is also called peripheral microtubules. Axonin is also called peripheral microtubules. Central microtubules. Central microtubules. Fourth one is. Central sheet, central sheet, and fifth one is radial force. So, electron microscopic, electron microscope. When we will see these two parts through electron microscope, at that time it will show all the internal parts. So, the all the internal parts are aluminium. So these are all the arrangements we will see in the form of the diagram. The diagram here I will draw. Everybody is having a look on this. Everybody have a look on the diagram. Plasma membrane. Cilia and the flagella. Externally is covered by a membrane that is called Plasma membrane. That is called plasma membrane. Cilia flagella externally, externally covered by a membrane. That is called plasma membrane. Next, axonin. <coughs> In the cell of the plasma membrane, there is a core. This entire core, whatever may be the parts are present, those parts are called core, called axonin. In the axonin, there is a Nine pairs of tubules. Nine pairs of tubules are doublets called <coughs> peripheral microtubules. Peripheral microtubules. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have to draw actually nine. These two big ones, so we draw smaller one. Next, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, inside the plasma membrane, there is a core called axonin. The axonin is also called peripheral microtubules. There are nine pairs of peripheral microtubules are arranged in the form of doublets. One, two, doublet. It is one doublet, 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 doublet. 
okay in the abdomen there are nine pairs of doublets or radially or centrally arranged those nine pairs of doublets are called peritoneal microtubules that is called the second heading second heading peritoneal microtubules thirdly central microtubules <coughs> Central microtubules. A pair, in a pair two will be there. One, two. A pair of central microtubules are present, which are connected together by a bridge. It is called bridge. That is called central microtubules. Next, these are central. These two central microtubules are covered by a sheet. That is called central sheet. Okay. This is called central sheet. This is called central microtubules. This is called central sheet. A pair of central microtubules are surrounded by a sheet like structure called central sheet. So, this central sheet is connected to very very microtubules by a small tube that is called. Radial scope. Radial scope. It is attached to this. They are called radial spokes. So here nine radial spokes are present. So one, two, three, four. Totally nine will be there. Nine peripheral microtubules will be there. Nine radial spokes are present. Those nine radial spokes are attached to. Central sheet. So this is called the under flagella. Here, one more information. In this one, peripheral microtubules arranged in nine pairs to arrange. In the ciliary flagella, peripheral microtubules, microtubules arrangement in the nine pairs to. So in the radial direction, nine. Central two, central two. The arrangement is called nine pairs to array. Array means three pairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have drawn eight, but you have to accommodate nine. Nine pairs of doublets called peripheral microtubules. Centrally, a pair of tubules. Those are called central tubules. Okay. This is the explanation about C and platella. Next one. One more point. So this is the central microtubules of By a linker. These are called polylinkers. 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 With the help of linkers. Peripheral microtubules are connected to one another, one another. Like this way, you have to draw linkers. Peripheral microtubules are connected with each other by a number of linkers. Those are called polylinkers. Okay, that's it. This is the explanation about cilia and flagella. Both the cilia and flagella. Both the Pilia and flagella emerge. Emerge. Emerge means come out from the centriole like structures called basal bodies. Centriole like structures called basal bodies. Basal bodies. From the basal bodies, centriole like structures that is called pilia and flagella. The pilia and flagella are come out. From the central light switches. What are central switches? Topic of this case. From the central light switches, those central light switches called basal bodies. So it is important to read. So if you remember the diagram, from the diagram only, 
we can explain complete information of cilia and platina. Next topic, centrosome. Centrosome. centrosome and centrosome. Centrosome and centrosome. First, centrosome and organelle. This one is present within the cell. Centrosome. This is centrosome. Centrosome is an organelle usually present. Usually consists of centrosome. Centrosome usually consists of two centrosomes. Centrosome is an organelle usually present. Usually consists of two centrosomes. These two centrosomes, it is one centrosome, it is one centrosome. These two centrosomes are correctly called centrosomes. This is called centrosome. Centrosome is an organelle. Usually consists of a pair of centrosomes. Okay, so the centrosome, this is the centrosome. The centrosome is covered by amorphous. Amorphous. Pericentriolar material. Amorphous. Pericentriolar material. Amorphous means what? There is no proper shape. There is no proper shape. Amorphous pericentriolar material. Pericentriolar material. This is called centrosome. Centrosome. And then centrosome is surrounded by amorphous pericentriolar material. Which means a pair of centrioles are accommodated. That is called centrosome. Centrosome. So, in the of centrioles, these two are centrioles. Centrioles are like perpendicular to each other. This is called perpendicular to each other. One is horizontal, one is, one is vertical, one is horizontal. Like this way, one is vertical, one is horizontal. In the centrosome, centrioles are like perpendicular to each other. But these are six to be cartilage like structure. Cartilage like structure. Cartilage like structure. So in the centrosome, these are appear to be these centrosome in the centrosome, centrosome organization like cartilage. 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 Cartilage like structure. Okay, like this way will be appear from the centrosome. In the reality, it is like so it is called centrosome. Inside the centrosome, two centrioles are like perpendicular to each other. Perpendicular to each other. Okay. Now we will see structure of each centriole. Structure of centriole, if you will see automatically complete the centriole, you can understand. Now, come to the point. Structure of centrioles. Structure of centrioles. Structure of centrioles. Structure of centrioles. Each centrioles is made of nine even in space. Peripheral. Fibrils of tubulin protein. Each centriole, see, each centriole is made up of by nine evenly spaced peripheral fibrils of tubulin protein. See, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, 
okay see like that so if it's a glow made up of by line even this space even this this need for in between from one to another this is equal not more and not less than but here may be shown some extra while you are drawing in textbook diagram they did not give but in between these three points the space is equal okay so the first point of the structure of the glory is each centriole is made up of by nine evenly spaced peripheral fibers of tubulin protein with a peripheral peripheral fibers peripheral fibers of tubulin protein tubulin think of it it will be called tubulin nine tubulin protein okay so each each of the peripheral fibril is triplet it 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 is triplet everyone is triplet before before when we have seen doublet but here triplet in cian flagella doublet in centrio it is each of the peripheral fibril is triplet and connected together by which are connected together by linkages sorry one part next statement The central part of the centrioli is proteinaceous. 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 It is called cup. It is called cup. The central part of the centrioli is made up of a proteinaceous structure. Proteinaceous structure. It is called cup. This cup is connected to the. It is connected to the. which is connected to the tubular part of the triplet these are all connected to the triplets by a protein structure these are also proteinaceous already okay so this is just about the symbiote symbiote okay but next These are all central proteinaceous slipper half, which is connected to the triplet by various proteins. These are all various proteins. This is the structure of the symbiote. Next, functions of the symbiote. Functions of functions of symbiote. Functions of the symbiote are. So the centrioles form the basal body. The centrioles form the basal body of cilia or plant. So this is the central structure. This is centriole form the basal body of cilia, cilia and plant. It's the main function of the centriole. Centriole form cilia and plant. Second function. Centrioles, generally centrioles, centrioles produces spindle fibers on either sides of the chromosome. See here, this is the chromosome. It is the fiber. Here in cell division, this centriole forms spindle fibers. These are called spindle fibers. I will say next chapter, next chapter, not tenth chapter. Tenth region, I will say about spindle fibers. 
centrioles form epithelial fibers on either side during cell division in and your cell is involved in cell division at the time this is in your forms the epithelial fibers those epithelial fibers are called epithelial apparatus okay that's the epithelial fibers epithelial fibers spread like structures are formed epithelial form spread like structures on either side of the chromosome during cell division in animal This is the explanation about the structure of the centrioles and functions of the centrioles. Here, Clavella. In here, Clavella, peripheral microtubules and the central tubules arrange in nine-layer tube. Here, peripheral fibrils of the tubules arrange in nine-layer tube. Central like three and plus there are two or not there zero. And the rest of these two aspects are also to discussion of the two bits are formed. Okay, if you remember, this is in the centrosome. In the centrosome, the centrioles organization is like cartly. It seems to be a cartly. Okay. nucleus the nucleus as cell organelle the nucleus as cell organelle first described by the robert brown in 1831 in 1831 robert brown already during introductory topic i said the nucleus as a cell organelle first described by the scientist robert brown in 1831 next So, what are maybe the components are present inside the nucleus? Those are observed, observed, identified with the help of basic dyes. That is, basic carbide. Basic carbide. Whatever may be the material is present inside the nucleus, that was. Stained, stained means highlighted, absorbed with a basic dye that is the acetyl carmine, and later they gave name to that uh, nuclear material called chromatin. Chromatin, chromatin by Fleming. Okay, yes. what are the names? That material, Fleming called chromatin, using the basic dyes. That is, next, the interface the nucleus, the interface, interface the nucleus has highly extended and elaborate nucleoprotein fibers called chromatin. See. Interface nucleus. Interface. Interface nucleus. Interface nucleus means what? When the nucleus was not dividing. Interface means resting phase. Resting phase. When the nucleus was in resting state at that time, inside the nucleus has highly extended. Elaborate the nucleoprotein fibers. That is called. That is called chromatin. That is called chromatin. Okay. In the nucleus, when the nucleus was in the nucleus, and I, I extended and elaborate the network. Elaborate the nucleoproteins. Nucleoprotein fibers are called. Next, the nuclear matrix in the nucleus is the matrix called nuclear matrix. The nuclear matrix has one or two 
dark staining spherical shaped structure called Okay, so nucleus is surrounded by outer membrane and inner membrane. In between these two membranes, there is a space is present that is called perinuclear nuclear space. Perinuclear space. Outer membrane, inner membrane, collectively called nuclear envelope. Nuclear envelope. Envelope. So the nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear envelope, which consists of two membranes, outer membrane and inner membrane. In between these two membranes, there is a space is present. The space is called perinuclear space. The, uh, this is space 10 to 14 nanometers in space. The space, uh, a gap is 10 to 14 nanometers space is present. The space is called perinuclear space. So the outer membrane, the nuclear envelope, outer membrane is often connected to the endoplasmic reticulum. It is connected to the endoplasmic reticulum. Let's say we have the arm. Let's say we have the endoplasmic reticulum. It is connected with endoplasmic reticulum. Outer membrane is connected with the endoplasmic reticulum and the right. Next, see the continuity of the the continuity of the nuclear envelope is interrupted by small pores or pores, those called nuclear pores. Nuclear, nuclear pores. So, through the nuclear pores, some molecules, that is RNA, RNA are expelled outside. Okay, so these are called nuclear pores. These are called nuclear pores. So through the nuclear pores, so RNA molecules are expelled out from inside of the nucleus to outside. So through the nuclear pores, some molecules are mutually exchanged from inside to outside and outside to inside. So outside means what? Inside the nucleus, it is the carrier extent. Outside the nucleus is the in the cytoplasm, whatever may be the material surface, then those materials are mutually exchanged from outside to inside, from inside to outside, through the nuclear envelope. Through the nuclear envelope. Okay. 
Okay. That is a big deal anyway. Next year, generally, each cell consists of only one EPI. Each cell consists of only one nucleus. But in some of the organisms, each cell contains various number of nuclei. For example, here. Paramecium body. Paramecium body. Each cell consists of two nuclei. That's what is called paramecium cell by nucleation. Next, round one. Round one. That is called Acaris lumicoides. Round one. Acaris lumicoides. Round one scientific name is Acaris lumicoides. It consists of Many nuclei in each cell. Generally, each cell only one nuclei should present. But in some two nuclei in each cell, in round one, many nuclei present in each cell. The condition is called polynucleus. Polynucleus. Each cell, this is called nucleocar. In the nucleocar, there is a dark staining body called nucleocar. Dark staining body. This is called nucleocar. 